Arabian district. Follow us to this exotic oasis. If you wish to uh, go swimming, we have a swimming pool that if you click on the life preserver, it'll res a life preserver which will enable you to swim. We have a little marketplace over here if you want to visit the marketplace. We have various homes that you can walk through and visit. These are all native to the land. What is to discover in Pathway Universe? Okay, let's see the other parts. Follow me this way. Let's take a horse. Okay. Takes a moment to work. Okay. Now I have disabled the sound effects, but if you like, you could have the horse um, have the the bird sounds, and um, it'll work perfectly. He says, "Nay, nay." And uh, he does galloping. So that's the cool thing.
So I'll unmount for a minute. This is our call to prayer location. Still under a lot of construction. It was working perfectly the other day. Okay, let's go on the horse and visit various locations. So this is our Coliseum. We plan to have probably a soccer game or a horse racing or something interesting like that here. It's an infinite space but it may become useful someday. Okay, let's go for some camel riding. Now the thing is, please keep in mind that this camel runs pretty much all day and doesn't slow down. So the best thing to do is get it captured on the angle and then scroll and then you'll start to see the camel in motion. It's very uh, fun. Alright, let's unmount the camel. And let's go on the horse again. Let's go visit uh, the mosque. Now the rule of thumb is that this mosque is open to all faiths and religions. However, because of the Islamic rule, we, we have to take our shoes off when entering the mosque. So, this is the buffer zone where um, we're allowed to take off our shoes. So I have an alpha on, so what that means is it, it, didn't, it hides my feet. But I don't want to take that alpha off because I don't want any mishaps to happen. So um, bear in mind that I do have feet on, it's just invisible. Okay. So this is... In the Quran, um, this is a uh, holy well where you, we wash our hands and our feet before entering the prayer. And uh, it's very tranquil. Okay. I'll illustrate to you how to pray north of Mecca, Mecca. I mean north, my bad. East of Mecca. I apologize. I'm in uh, Second Life as well. 
in a uh, conversation of, for education, and uh, I'm kind of getting interrupted as I film this uh, educational broadcast, so please forgive me. So we pray, like the Quran states, east, the east direction to Mecca, Mecca where the Holy Kaaba is, um, is, is, is at. So we click on the rug, and he enters a prayer. Now it does it simul simultaneously. However, if you want to, you know, expedite it, we just click on the prayer mat. And uh, there's, I think, seven options on how to pray, or I think 13. And he's doing it all at one time. I may uh, edit this video in the future to improve the quality of my videos. However, I've been so totally swamped because I'm pretty much the only person that runs Pathway. And uh, I've been very busy trying to update my videos lately. But thank you for your patience. And I appreciate uh, my subscribers. And I appreciate my fans. I appreciate my communities that I develop for. In OS Grid, I have a group, uh, the Islamic Council, Open Life. If you want to join that group, it's perfectly fine. However, because of the circumstances on land availability, I only have my mosque area in Pathway. But if you are in, you know, a virtual world that you want, you know, me to develop a mosque for you, that's perfectly fine. It's just, um, you know, I just need uh, time in advance to 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 have um, an update for. Okay, he's almost done. Let's go take a look at the mosque, Alexander's Grand Mosque. This is a statue that we have of a crescent and the star. This is how it looks like zoomed out. Well, my distance is um, kind of like how you say um, I didn't enable the the view, so it comes and it goes out. So I have to just adjust this. It's called draw distance. Draw distance is a feature that um, 
sometimes takes in uh, bandwidth more so than um, it takes out um, takes out memory but the thing is uh, if you have um, it lowered your um, your frames per second at, at PS is uh, going to be a lot quicker so sometimes I have to um, enable it and disable it and lower it and raise it, it all depends but this is if it's um, enabled so you could see there's uh, four towers now the thing is because in in the virtual world communities um, there's not too much um, available assets and I got this in uh, public domain I converted uh, a church that I found and I made it into a mosque that looks similar to ones that are in the Middle East however um, I just kinda did my interpretation the best I can so um, our uh, Islamic community of Pathway has a home that they could reside from meaning that they could come here at any time and uh, pray or socialize it's perfectly fine to do either or now we respect all of our guests you know there's no no going to be there's not any restrictions everyone is welcome with a peaceful regard in a in a um, solidarity regard so um, please uh, please uh, understand this so we have um, two sti distinct areas to keep this location hall all there is a section for women to pray and then there is a section for males to pray this is in accordance of the Quran for halal minds and halal bodies okay so inside it, you can go inside however um, it's still under development we're going to work on filling this up soon now the thing is I kinda cause I've been editing this video a couple times I may just do it now because I have a few minutes to um kind of complete the the Hajj for the mosque however I may get interrupted with um, the second life forum that I'm in right now but I'm gonna try my best to uh, do it together simultaneously so the thing is in the Hajj there is um, the walk against the walk around the cabal and then there's a barber shop and the barber shop, I mean, usually is uh, inside. So the thing is, buildings that I have may be too big. So for me to look through, I'm gonna try my best. But like, I may eventually just put like a little building in here. But it seems like it won't work. So I'm just going to um, take some salon stuff that I have. Let's see, barber. Oh, okay. I do have a cabal barber assets so that's the interesting thing is I, cl I I create some things and I gather some things that are available and um, I, I I just you know I bring things that I see so this is a basic understanding of um, of what 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 that the purpose for the this thing that I'm trying to show is that uh, you know it just by sitting on these objects, the the hairstylist does not necessarily work. You, I mean, it's just for role playing this um, hairstylist thing. But essentially, what this is is like, um, you know, that Hodge has you know an individual sit down in the barber shop, and I will put some hairs. Like, uh, let me see. There, there's there's a, a box that I'll put for uh, everyone I'm trying to see what it is here's I had something that had like a lot of here thank you this this hmm. I don't know
Let me see if this works. No, that's an actual here. Well, I had a box full of here's. Oh, I think this is a. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Well, that's okay. It doesn't matter at this point. My point is that uh, the Hodge Barber Shop um, has the hairstylist. So the thing is, if you want to click on it here, this is also going to be for men and females. However, um, from my understanding, the men they have a hairstyle that uh, they take the, most of the hair off. So how to do this instead is you click on the here you say detach and another one that says detach and then you got a hairstyles now if you're wearing my uh, Middle Eastern outfit just lower the hat and then you have um, a more, more proportional um, you know style so I mean females if you want to do this too that's perfectly fine we're um, we're all about uh, caring and humanity and uh, acceptance, so don't worry how you look, you know. It's it's better to be happy with yourself and happy with others, so it doesn't matter. We don't judge here. So, okay. Soon I'll be uh, exiting the, the mosque area, the holy area. Now... We, we don't discipline anyone if they do bring in shoes, but please be mindful and respectful not to to bother anyone and we we do not we do not want any drama here so please in any of our places so please respect others so okay All right, so we're going to be exiting out the holy area, and then I'll put back my shoes and my hair. So right at this edge, I mean it's not precisely calculated, but you know it's it's in a certain area that we could put back our shoes, or if you want, they have the the hair free option. That's perfectly fine. Now be careful on being totally at the edge because we don't want to fall off. So I'm going to put back my shoes on. I mean I could get my horse back but the thing is um, I'll see because it's going to be a lot of travel. Okay so let's see. Okay, I gotta adjust my hat for um for the the, the fluency of this uh, presentation. I'm just going to put in another horse. So, it's going to go quicker. Now, the thing is, I may have to fly with the horse, and you could do this, is because um, there is such a... Be careful, because I have to modify this um, hill for making it into, like, a... Um, how you call it? Uh, I have to make sure we are able to um, to have this work, because the thing is... Okay, so this horse cannot fly, so please bear in mind that uh, we have to um, be careful, and uh, I'm trying to work on having an area that's more of a ramp, but uh, it's a little tough, so please be careful when going down. Now, the thing is, uh, because how, this, how our software is built, that if you do fall on the ground, the horse is always going to be okay, and you're always going to be okay. We don't have anything called uh, damage enabled, so um, your health and the horse's health is always going to be fine. And don't worry about uh, the situation; uh, it's perfectly fine. Unlike like uh, video games, like you know, I'm not going to mention any titles, but usually um, 
a health meter is always, you know, enabled and uh, if a character, you know, goes in a certain way, it, um, it affects his health. Um, we don't have anything like that and we don't want to enable that because then all it does is just teleport you back to your house. And the thing is, if you have no house, it just goes crazy. <laughs> Meaning that you might be able to go somewhere that, uh, you know, I don't know, it's probably like the tutorial center. I haven't really tried it out and I don't want to experiment with that, but um, we just disable it for now. I mean, in time, we may have, we may enable it for a roleplay, but the thing is, uh, I don't, personally, as the founder of Pathway, I don't encourage combated roleplays because it is a dangerous uh, game to have. So right now, we're going through the Middle Eastern village. I'm just going to roam around, you know, just a little bit to show you what exactly it is. Okay. So thank you for your patience. Um, I got a last minute invite to the Second Life group. So the thing is, Pathway, again, to reiterate, Pathway and Second Life are not the same platform. They are independent software developers. And uh, we are based on open source software. Second Life is run by Linden Labs. And uh, the open source project is run by an uh, independent developer. And uh, there's like thousands of different places that have uh, this open source. So Pathway is not just the only one, and uh, through I would have wanted in the beginning to collaborate with a lot of places. We do have um, certain locations that we do uh, privately collaborate in the United States and in France, and uh, we virtually travel to these places. Now the thing is. Um, it's in, in terms of embassies, it's, you know, I would have wanted more to, um, to see, even in getting together with governments and military and things of that, that such nature. But, you know, a lot of people, um, they have their own, you know, terms. And they, uh, they just want to do their own thing. And I respect that. Pathway respects that. But, um... You know, humanity can't get better if everyone collaborates together. And uh, I'm, I really appreciate to, to uh, what I've been given. Um, you know, in Second Life, we have uh, an embassy. And uh, we want to thank uh, Jillian Q and uh, Kylie. Because of their help, uh, Pathway is able to uh, educate members and help them with uh, finding solutions to um, to troubles they may be having in the real world or in the virtual world. Now we are a volunteer service. We don't charge any of our members for anything. The only thing is um, if anybody from Second Life or other virtual worlds want to come on Pathway, we have um, a website for that and it's in uh, our tutorial video. So if you want to watch a tutorial video, the website's on there. And uh, pretty much, you know, we offer two memberships. One is uh, free, and another one is exclusive membership, which allows you to have a house and a club. And uh, we ask, uh, you know, our standard membership if they would like to uh, donate so we could um, continue these projects. My hope is that I want to, Pathway wants to establish uh, community conventions both in the virtual world and in real life like um, a lot of our sister organizations have right now, um, primarily in education. So the thing is uh, that would be something down the line that Pathway wants to do and uh, that's something that brings in the morale, I feel that uh, it's something that supports uh, humanity, enrichment, growth, prosperity and uh, it's something that is very beneficial for everyone. 
I have gone to gaming conventions for other related, um, other related, uh, uh, events. However, um, to have my own would be a, a nice goal because I'm able to, uh, relate with others and hear what they have to say and, and see what they enjoy and what we could improve on and go from there. Now, th you can move faster with this horse, but um, for some reason I don't see the, 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 the speed um, enabler, so bear in mind that this might be a little bit of a long conversation, but um, everything is okay. I'm just doing two things at one time and uh, trying, to, trying to, you know, focus. But thank you for um, your patience. And thank you for being with us. Okay, so I'm just going to um, just kind of like zoom in. This is one of our uh, day clubs. We're going to fill it up one day. I have filled it up in other in other days. Okay. Okay. We're going to head to the um, pyramid. It seems like my other event that I'm on right now, it's kind of ending. So I'm not sure if uh, what's going to happen there, but um, let's go back to the pyramid. Now, I'll leave the horse right here. He's going to be perfectly fine. Um, and just kind of like take a 360 and fly. So that's a cool thing in Pathway we could fly. So here's going to hover around these towns. There's a, like a little campus area that um, if you want to see that um, that discusses uh, Arabic to English um, learning which um, would be nice but at this time we don't offer that service but it would be a good service for our pathway members if they're learning for the first time uh, let's see if I could find that building and we would like to have um, other languages like Spanish, French, Hebrew, and other ones. But the the interesting thing is, oh, here it is. Um, it's just a, like um, a, like um, what's it called? Um, just a. Uh, it's um, it's like I don't know how to put it. It's a landmark area. So I mean, it represents like a, a campus. And this is the thing, we want to attract um, educators from all over the world to, uh, to teach and promote uh, educational awareness. And uh, so it shows like the alphabet and Arabic and, uh, and other languages. And um, we want to, um, you know, bring in a lot of people to discuss things. Okay, onwards to the pyramid, and then it'll be um, it'll be time to um, to call it a day. So this is our pyramid, and uh, to summarize this pyramid, in uh, in in the Middle East there is uh, oh right now my um, so the thing is there's 
because I'm in a different viewer, there's usually this, um, like, a very light glow that uh, radiates, like, um, uh, like a spotlight. But right now it's not there because there's a certain kind of enabler to have this spotlight. There was um, this um, ancient myth about, uh, or fact, about the Egyptian um, mystics that uh, predicted that, you know, if, if the pyramids ever had a top layer, it would uh, shine a, a beam to the, the sky. And the thing is, um, it did happen in the virtual world, but it only happens during one of our, our viewers. It, it doesn't happen with a certain viewer. I don't know why. And the viewer is a client that runs the virtual universe. So for, for right now, it's not showing, but um, I'll probably update this video and then show it. So this is pretty much the, the Sphinx, and I think it's probably King... Uh, to the convent's uh, tomb so if you wanna so the thing is um like it is in the real world in the in the museum please try not to take pictures of it but um we're not going to discipline anyone and there's uh you know it's just just to protect um the, the origins all right so that's about it i mean we're coming to an end so Pretty much, um, I'll probably end it in a couple seconds. But uh, this is one of my favorite statues. So, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, instant message me on social media. Pathway Universe is pretty much in most locations of the world so if you find it in your region that's awesome if not uh, we, we could um, stay in touch so I'll do what I like to do a lot of the times is put the sunset and then uh, call it a day okay let's see the sunset okay maybe the sunrise Okay. All right, it's been a pleasure having you here, and uh, stay in touch. Signing out, Alexander the Great. I mean, Alexander One Theory. Take care. Bye bye.